Greetings everyone, welcome back to uh, Genshin Impact. And so guys, it's almost time. It is almost time. Let's come over here real quick. Uh, let's just get through all of this. But come over to events. And right here, look at this guys. Uh, event wish, a chance of many waters, boosted drop rate for endless solo of solitude, Farina. The Hydro Archon comes out to tomorrow. Well, that's when it that's when it ends. Um, but it doesn't doesn't say. But either way, guys, we got uh during this event the event exclusive five star character, endless solo of solitude. Farina will receive a huge drop rate boost. During this event, which the four star character lens of a uh, verity Sh uh, Charlotte Cryo. Uh, yeah, we got Charlotte, we got Kale. And we also uh, got Beto. Beto's here to haunt me again. I swear. Once I'm getting Farina, I'm probably going to get like a ton of Beto's. Like, I don't want Beto. <laughs> don't give me Beto. I freaking hate Beto. I have C6 Beto. I don't need any more Beto. Um, but yeah, also. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> also, Baiju's coming out. Um, I, I couldn't care less for, for Baiju. We got Charlotte. I think that's Charlotte, right? That's Charlotte. Uh, yeah, that's Charlotte. Okay. Um, but yeah, Farina. I also want to get her event weapon, so I'm hoping to get it. It's uh, I can't. I don't know if I can get a good look at the weapon. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Any? Do they have the the weapon thing? Oh yeah, it's right here. Okay. Look how, Look at that. The the the, the sword looks pr pretty cool. Pretty 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 cool. Pretty pretty cool sword. Okay. Um, by the way, let, let me just get rid of, uh, let me get rid of that. Okay, can't move out of the way. And claim my mail. And then, I guess we'll just continue on the story. Because that's kind of where, um, that's where we need to do. It says reward code redeemed. Uh, you already used, uh, yeah, okay. Did they redeem though? Did they? Doesn't look like they redeemed, so I don't know what you're on. But either way. Um, I have two wishes. <laughs> um, so that's not good. So we got to get more primal gems. That's what we got to do. Let's come over here, activate the Archon quest right here, and navigate. Okay. And it's right there. Uh, wherever that is. I don't know where that is. Um, yeah, I've, I forgot what happened last time. It's been a while since I've played Genshin Impact. I should, I should have, like, you know kept playing it because uh be because I, I like as you saw i don't have any primal gems or any wishes for farina and it, or i wasted everything on hu tao so yeah um by the way i don't i don't want to talk to you i don't care i don't care silver um but let's head inside and i guess rest because that's what happened last time <laughs> um a peaceful night passes okay Uh huh. huh. Navia. Where did the other two go? Yeah, I wonder when Navia, Navia sent comes them out. back to Poisson. It's Spina de Rosula's place of origin, and where we have our headquarters. There's not much for them to do here at the moment. Uh huh. Well, gets the feeling that you're just trying to get them off your back. Uh, but uh, <laughs> never mind that. When did you get back? Were you waiting here the whole time? No, I just returned after going out for a while. I did some investigating yesterday regarding the name Vache. I don't Wait, know that is. So you didn't sleep at all? <laughs> How could I after having such critical new evidence appear? Uh, guess Paima wasn't speaking for everyone just now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, this name seems to have been wiped from existence. It doesn't seem to have a match anywhere. Damn. I suspect that those behind this have already taken steps to hinder an investigation from this angle. Uh but that does prove that this Vache person is a key witness in the incident. Yeah. Does that mean we're too late though? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know Paimon. There is one ray of hope, one place in Fontaine that they would find almost impossible to threaten, no matter how much they wanted to. And that is the archives kept by Chief Justice Nouvellet. A place where detailed files on all the cases in recent years are kept. Nivellet? What, what, what about Nivellet? Where, where does he have all this uh, stuff? Met, 
is one of the young women who went missing recently. We should be able to find some related information there. So uh, Nova sure. Vet maintains an archive of case files? Whew. Guess that's the hard-working Chief Justice for you. In that case, let's go talk to him, shall we? Yes, let's go talk to Nova Hmm? Uh, what? Aren't you coming along, Navia? Did you get tired? Uh, no, it's nothing. Let's go see the Honorable Chief Justice. Yes. Let's let's go say hola to uh Nouvellet. Now where is Nouvellet? He is over he's over there. Damn, pretty convenient that he is right there. Why why are you over there? Nouvellet? The is right up ahead. Come on. Uh what? The Palea? Uh goes to Chief Justice's office. Okay. We're heading inside. Okay, uh oh shit. Okay. Hmm. Ooh. What's over here? Please state your business here. The Chief Justice is presently occupied with official matters. Who are you? Uh Seden name <sighs> or whatever? This place does look pretty heavily guarded. Guess that proves that Nervalet's files are really secure. Hey, don't you recognize us? Uh, yeah. Huh? Who are you? Just to be clear, <clears throat> I don't care who you are or <laughs> who you might be related to. Our rules make no exceptions. See? They've got great discipline, too. Yep, yep. Anyone can tell. If you're here just to crack jokes, I can point you towards the exit. Unlike some, we're busy. So please leave if you don't have a reason to be here. I have a reason know. to be here. What I meant to say is, shouldn't you remember us from a few days ago? We were at the trial of the great magician Linny. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes, I remember. I read about it in the Steambird. You, you must be Linny's attorneys. It's all coming back to me now. <laughs> we're here today to report and archive some information on a follow-up case. Huh. Is that even a thing? Bruh, is that even a thing? Oh, Don't worry. We're here on official business. You can trust us. All right then, I'll let you through. The Chief Justice is just inside. Ah, thanks so much. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess we're heading in. Uh, right over here. You say, hola to Nouvellet. Please come in. <gasps> there he is. But why do you need such a big office, dude? There's no reason to have such a big ah fucking cat, dude. Stop it, stop it, cat. Why are you just sitting there? You're doing nothing, Nivellet. That's a huge ass typewriter. Sorry for our gym, Monsieur Nivellet. We only like to get in because we didn't know any other way. It's all right. Please let me know how I may be of assistance to you. We technically didn't lie. We are looking for a man called Vache. He may have been an eyewitness in the serial disappearances case. If we can find him, we may be able to unearth some key information on the case. Ah, I see. In that case, please wait here a moment while I browse through the files. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, 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 that was pretty easy. <laughs> that was pretty easy. <laughs> we just walked in and then Who said, uh, we're looking for this so guy. He's like, okay, bet. <laughs> Hmm. What are you doing? You're just looking at the books. You're not even opening them. You're just staring at them. Unfortunately, I'm quite certain that no one by the name of Vache has been involved in any case, criminal or civil, in the past several years. There are no records of him either in the files or in my memory. Guess that's that. So we're back to square one. Traveler, what if it was really just a dream? Is that so? All right then. Thank you so much, Monsieur Neuvillette. We'll take our leave now. Ahem. <laughs> Miss Navia, I can understand how you feel. Your father, Callus, was a truly exceptional man. We deeply regret his passing. Hmm. And what are you trying to say, Monsieur Neuvillette? Are you trying to console me? Extend your sympathy? Or just express some tendril of regret? No. 
You are not trying to do any of that. This? I can hear it in your voice. Like is this? There's no emotion behind your words. You only said those things because you felt like you should. Yes. It's just like last time. After my father took his place in the duelist ring, I pushed through the guards to talk to you as a last resort. You even told me then that you thought there was something fishy with the case, yet you still allowed the duel to go ahead. In your eyes, the value of a human life is nothing compared to those cold laws you hold so dear. If you truly regret my father's death, then why didn't you call a stop to the duel? Why didn't you Bro's give crying. me the power Ain't to no stop way. him from throwing his <laughs> life away? Why did you just let him die, despised and hated by all? Everything was hanging on a thread at that moment. Just the tiniest effort could have changed everything. There are still so many things I never got to tell him. So many questions he still owes me answers to. If you really have no heart, then just look me in the eyes. I, Navia, will show you the true meaning of regret. I'm sorry, Miss Navia. You and my father are truly alike. You keep all kinds of things in your heart and never say a word to anyone. It's not ah. so much that you can't feel, but that you would never express anything. Oh well. In any case, everyone already knows full well the apathy of the Chief Justice. My apologies for taking my emotions out on you, Monsieur Chief Justice. Let's go, Traveler and Paimon. Uh, sure. Navia, are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, Rain. It's raining. Uh, no shit. I can, I can see that. Wasn't it still sunny when we went into the building? And there shouldn't be any active trials today. How strange. Now that I think of it, on the day my father was convicted of murder, it was also raining. What Rain. Is it? Did you think of something? Uh, your father's case. Yeah, he was outside. It was uncovered and the rain could fall there. Why? Do you think the rain could have affected the crime scene? That thought has huh. occurred to us before. We've even expanded the search area to try to account for that. But didn't find anything of value. But there was something you didn't know at the time. Oh? Wait. Uh, you don't mean... The fact that people can be turned into water. So you're saying that the true murderer could have been turned into water? And then got washed away with the rain? Yeah! And if that's what had happened, then no one would have believed your dad, even if he explained what he saw to the authorities. I really think I found a true genius for a partner. <laughs> You're completely <coughs> right. How did I not connect the dots earlier? All right, let's go to Poisson. With this new lead Poisson. in mind, <laughs> we'll get to the bottom of my father's case for Cat, sure. Why are, you, why are you so annoying? Yeah, I, I we're got... going to make progress for sure this time. Uh, sure. Do you want to go with me now? Or do you want to head over by yourself later? Uh... Uh, you can go first. I'll join right. you later. Then I'll wait for you at Poisson. Okay. Uh, she'll wait for us at Poisson. Yes. It's the, the Poisson. What the fuck is this? Um... There's Navia. What's up, Navia? I want to talk to Navia. There you go. Oh no, Paimon. <laughs> There's no need to be so surprised. While it may look like a ship, it's actually Spina di Rosula's headquarters. Uh -huh. My father was the one who asked for it to be built like this. Perhaps our taste in exterior design is the only thing we occasionally had in common. A gigantic and glamorous ship embodies discovery, opportunity, ambition, the ship and looks conquest. Ugly. I don't know what you're talking about. It symbolizes about. Spina di Rosula's bright and limitless future. I think I'm starting to get why you like it. I'm not because it looks ugly. When you said Spina di Rosula had a glorious past, Paimon was confused why a group with such a history would live in the sewers. But now that Paimon has seen this ship for herself, she's been convinced. Well, Poisson is where Spina di Rosula began, after all. It's our main base, our home. Your 
home, you say. Well, time to wreck it. Um, but we gotta go over there. Which, I think I have a teleport waypoint over there. No, I don't. Why do I have this here? Yeah, I don't. Okay. I guess I don't have a teleport waypoint over there. So I gotta... So I gotta climb the ship. Somehow. Uh... Yeah. It took me a while, because like I was trying to get something up there once. Um, and it took me a while to actually get on top of the ship. But I just now, I now notice there's that. Um, yeah. Well, actually, I don't think it took me a while to get on top of the ship. I think it took me a while to get on top of something else. I think. I don't know. Because I don't ever remember walking up this. I don't think. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's been a while since I've been over here. I came over here trying to get, uh, some stuff. But, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> Who's this old man? Malouse, we're back! Malouse. Oh. Apologies for the wait, demoiselle, and our most important partners. You said before that you still had some business at the court. What brings you back to Poisson so quickly? Uh, about that. It's because my partner here reminded me of something really important. You see, what if my father's case had something to do with water from the primordial sea? You still remember, right, Malus? On that night, it was raining? Yes, the case was quite similar to that of Mr. Linney's. Both were what you'd call impossible murders. Could the mastermind be the same person? Could you tell us a bit more about what happened before? Yeah, of course. Many years ago, something called synth began to gain popularity no, in Poisson. Not a flashback. At a glance, it was a kind not do of a drink that could excite your mood and produce many pleasant hallucinations. Wait! Didn't that guard guy who turned into water also mention that the primordial water could be used to produce some kind of potion? Yes, he did. Considering what we know now, it's almost certain that synth is created using water from the primordial sea. Mm -hmm. If you drink synth for an extended amount of time, you'll suffer many side effects such as losing the ability to focus or control your emotions. And if you were to stop drinking it completely, you'll experience flashes of paranoia and anxiety while lacking energy to do anything. It's an extremely dangerous substance. So a drug. <laughs> bro as bro has drugs. Poisson, my father was compelled to put a stop to synth abuse and called for a complete ban of it. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, bro ban drugs. <laughs> Boss's uncompromising attitude incurred the synth vendor's wrath, but no matter how much they threatened or bribed him, he refused to yield. Not only that, Boss became determined to find the mastermind behind the synth operation and put an end to the problem once and for all. Yes, but the enemy was very cunning, <laughs> so he could never get anything out of the dealers, all of whom only sold the stuff and weren't privy to the rest of the operation. Damn, okay. Recognizing that, my father decided to contact the dealers in secret and cultivate personal relationships with them. Finally, the man's name was Jacques. He felt greatly ashamed about his work after seeing many families destroyed by synth abuse. That night, my father hosted a banquet at his countryside estate. He planned to meet up and exchange information with Jacques over some food. Mm -hmm. But then, we heard two gunshots from the courtyard. Oh shit. We raced to the scene and found my father, still holding a gun, and Jacques, who was already dead on the ground. Uh, okay, goddamn. <gasps> How did that happen? Aren't they on the same side? Uh, I guess. But guess, also, like Farina Lenny's comes case, really it? late. In both cases, Tomorrow. the culprit seemed obvious, but neither appeared to have any motive at all. Looking back on it, though, I now believe the most important clue was something we all overlooked at the time. There were pieces of clothing left at the scene. Yeah. But one thing that's really strange is the fact that, well, I don't know, it's just because usually the Genshin Impact updates take place like at around 5. Farina's update comes at 9 p.m. That's late. Really late. That's practically the next day. Basically. Well, it's still a couple hours from the next day, but still, it's really late. Um, yeah, I might record uh, another Genshin Impact video tomorrow on the day <laughs> once Farina gets released. Either way, 
Uh, so they could have belonged to someone who got dissolved. Precisely. It's all thanks to you that I made the connection now. Back then, we all just thought they were some costumes that Jacques used to disguise himself at the banquet. But, considering it now, it's almost certain that they belong to a third person at the scene. With one extra person, we'll also need to reconsider why the two shots were fired. Maybe your father got into an argument with Jacques? Um, but it's also possible that the third person was to blame. You're right. We still don't know what happened. But my intuition tells me that we're on the right track to figuring it all out. <sighs> I'm finally headed towards the truth. Mm -hmm. Jacques was an empathetic man who was infinitely remorseful for his past actions. It's unlikely that he turned on boss with zero warning. I think this third person is probably the key to the full truth. Yes. On that note, however, even though this will not please you, demoiselle, as you're and your father's butler, I must still offer a word of warning. Uh-huh. Our opponent is insidious and cruel. They are extremely difficult to deal with, and Boss has already lost his life trying to bring them to justice. Even though Spina de Rosula has lost most of its former glory, Poisson has welcomed a new time of peace, and we have been allowed to live out our lives. There is no need to follow your father's plan. It would be both wise and in line with Boss's wishes to step back and give up on the case. But if why? that's indeed what he wished for, then he should have told me that himself. Okay, but like... He died, so, you know. <laughs> and plus, freaking the bro, why would bro like do, I don't fucking know what I'm talking about anymore. Was I not the closest person to him? And yet, I was the one most kept in the dark. You know, solving this case won't do anything, you know that, right? Your dad's dead. There's nothing you can do about that, so... Well, what was the point of seeing, him dying without sharing any of the secrets he knew? Did he manage to protect anything in the end? Not oh, crap. Okay. Synth is still here. Callus the Unfaithful is still his epithet. And Spina di Rosula is barely getting by. Nothing has changed. Uh, the freaking, you know, uh, the case. Everyone died. All three people uh, um, that was involved in the case are dead. The first guy got turned into water. The second guy got shot. Well, technically, the first guy got shot and then the second guy. Either way, one died. Uh, one got shot. One turned into water. And then the other one lost to a, lost in a duel and shit. Did he think yeah, I just girl. accept his meaningless <laughs> death and live out my... Watch I it. never <laughs> accepted that. Ever. Not since that day. And certainly not now. I want to find out the real answer for everyone's sake. For the missing girls, for the victims, and for myself. Davia. This is indeed the best moment to act. Yes. Your partner appears to be quite reliable. And more importantly, Demoiselle, I think you're also ready to take this on. So you do know something else, Malus. <laughs> yes, I do. In fact, even before that banquet, Boss already knew of the connection between Synth and the serial disappearances case. But what drove all the tensions to the boiling point was the revelation that you, Demoiselle, had been selected as the next target to disappear. Goddamn. <sighs> Boss also didn't tell you that he had been diagnosed with a rare illness. The doctors told him that he had... No more than five years left to live. And the serial disappearances case caused him great anxiety. Five years was nowhere near enough time to resolve wow, this long-standing okay. conflict. He would have been dead by now. So, like, away, wouldn't it really matter? All the matter. danger would pass on to you. Knowing all of this, he decided to use one final intimidation tactic before his death. He claimed to have already gotten his hands on some key incriminating evidence for the other side. And even told some members of Spina de Rosula about the details. But as long as you remain safe, 
He would not share the evidence with the public. If something were to happen to you, then he and all those he told would immediately expose all they knew about Synth and the disappeared victims. Yeah, but yet they pulled something. They tried to poison. <laughs> they tried to poison her. Well, not really poison her, but turn into water, I guess, from the drink that they were drinking in the in the freaking the the place that Paimon ended up stealing. <laughs> right. So nobody would be able to get off scot free. As we've seen, Voss's tactic has worked. Even though Boss has been gone for a long time, the other side has not tried to take Demoiselle's life. That's not true, like I no, just finished saying. I don't believe it. He never appeared to look sick to me. No father wants their daughter to see them weak and haggard, especially someone as proud as Boss. To him, dying in a duel and suffering lasting dishonor as the unfaithful are still far preferable than losing face in front of his daughter. <laughs> so he chose... To die in silence, so that he could protect me. I'm afraid you're not understanding this correctly, Demoiselle. <sighs> what Boss wanted to hand to you was not a parasol, mm. but a sword. If Boss's spirit could hear you telling me that you want to find the answer for the sake of everyone involved, I'm sure he'd be extremely proud. <sighs> that fool. <laughs> Couldn't he have just given it to me straight? No. He might have set up everything precisely because he never thought I'd be able to understand him. Well, Is that the no amount of shit. confidence he had in me? You're a fucking idiot, Navia. Yeah. And what if I was never able to make it to where I am now? <laughs> he, uh, he gave you the choice to live how you want. Yeah. I suppose that's true. With the way he'd set things up, if I had wanted... I could have just lived out my life without a care in the world. But thankfully, he rarely talked to me about complex matters, and thus understood little of me as a person. In this case, he really didn't need to give me an easy way out. <laughs> Malus, what was the key evidence that he shared with you? Yes, what? It's the location where Synth is produced. What the fuck? <laughs> Essentially, it's the enemy's headquarters. God damn. He was threatening the enemy boss didn't share the specifics of the incriminating evidence he found. But if you want to use it against the enemy, you'll still have to take several things into consideration. Why? If we know where the place is, can't we just go storming in? You mustn't forget that we're fighting against a mysterious and dangerous organization that's been in operation for decades. Okay. There's no telling what might be lying in wait at their headquarters. We also have no idea what kind of evidence we may be able to find inside, nor what people we may be able to capture. But a single visit to their headquarters would be tantamount to a formal declaration of war. A declaration of war? The worst case war. would be that anyway. we leave empty-handed, but also open ourselves up to full retaliation. In that case, why not work with the Fontaine authorities? Well, you saw one of them dissolve during Mr. Linney's case. We have no idea just how thoroughly they may have been infiltrated. Huh. God damn. That's true. Seems my father really had no choice. But we gotta go to Farina about it. Now, it should be a lot easier to prove the other side's guilt now that we've connected Synth with the disappearances case. You sound like you've put a lot of thought into this, Malus. <laughs> I am the butler, after all. I live but to serve the boss and Demoiselle's will. I've always been willing to take on any kind of risk for your sake. But considering my relative lack of ability, I've spent my time keeping secrets, performing basic investigations, and waiting for the right time to come. Thank okay. you for all of that, Malus. Have you discovered anything new in the past few years? Let me think. One conclusion I came to is that the enemy must be quite familiar with Spina di Rosula, or at least have an informant planted here. Okay. When I announced orders to the organization's members on Demoiselle's behalf, I used to deliberately keep a few people in the dark and observe the reactions of the synth vendors. If the vendors didn't change their plans, then the individuals informed of our orders must be innocent. If the vendors packed up and fled, however, then someone must have given them the news. Oh, shit. 
After several rounds of testing and investigative tracing, I've narrowed the suspect list down to three people. Three the first people? first is Florent, Spina de Rosula's senior advisor. Okay. Huh? Florent? Yes, surprising, isn't it? He was one of the people Boss trusted the most, which also means that he was someone who understood Boss really well. Thanks to his position within Boss's innermost circle, he always knew our upcoming plans and could thus avoid capture this whole time. There's someone else like him too. Marcel, the head of Confrérie of Cabriere. Which one's Mar Marcel? Uncle Marcel. Oh, what is this? Con Confrérie. It's a guild of Poisson. Boss helped it to grow to its current size and prominence. In the beginning, they were only reselling some daily goods, but now they're one of the richest guilds around with a lot of business connections in the city. Uh huh. So, they're like a sister organization of Spina di Rosula? Yes, you can say that. When we were fighting against the synth dealers, they provided us with plenty of support. It's a bit difficult to imagine someone using their own money to hunt down themselves. <laughs> The final suspect is Thierry, the man responsible for coordinating information between Spina di Rosula and the guards. Oh no. Although the guards mostly leave us to our own devices, there are still many activities we have to report to the local authorities. Since Thierry is always in the know about our current activities, he could theoretically always plan one step ahead. I see. These are all people who I communicate with quite regularly. To think that the enemy we've been fighting against has been right next to me all along, among those I trust the most. It's almost too hard to believe. Uh, if you yeah. want to investigate them, please take every precaution to not alert the quarry. Judging from our experience, the enemy is extremely cautious. Mm, of course. And thank you, Malus. You've provided us with a lot of great information. You're too kind, my lady. I'm just doing my duty. Uh, and before I forget, uh, proving Boss's innocence would also mean clearing him of blame in Jacques' death. Mm -hmm. After that incident, Jacques' wife and daughter were taken into the Spina's care. They still live in Poisson today. Ooh. If it might help, you could also pay them a visit. I can make the necessary arrangements. Sir. Oh, thank you so much, Melus. Necessary, bro. Ain't no way. Bro said necessary. Or necessary. A new case awaits, my dear partner. Uh, then leave it to me. I hope we can work together to uncover sure. the truth. And sure. end this case once and for all. Sure. Uh, Kayla's case records. We got the case records. We got the case records. Okay. Uh, water and missing person case records. Okay. Let me come over to uh, the book. book over here, come over to commissions, uh, claim that, and come over to guild, there's, or guide, there's nothing over here. Gotta complete the perilous trial, um, which, completing the perilous trial, this, this shit's hard, I, I hate this right here, this, I hate this, I hate it, um, it's hard, I don't know, I don't know why it's so hard, the blade is like a tear. um, but guys, I'm, I'm probably just gonna end the video here. Uh, it's pretty short, but I want to, um, just play through the game, try to complete these other quests I have, Pr probably, maybe, if I feel like it, um, maybe the Chasmatic Maze, which is the Perilous Trial, um, but yeah, we got, um, all this other stuff. Hey, though, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, and, uh, yeah, no, I will see you guys next time, peace out, and bye bye